So this next style is the one that is hardest for me to execute well consistently. Sometimes I end up doing it more than once. Hopefully it'll work well in this video. If you don't know how to French braid or corn roll, it's really hard, I think, to do this style because even though I'm going to show you, it's something you kind of have to just feel the way you kind of know how to braid instinctively. So um, let's give it a shot. I'm going to start with first step is pulling all of my hair down in front of me. If I were doing this style and going out, I would probably take the time to retwist with water or gel some of the locks around my edges. Many of you have asked me this before. Yes, I do shape up um, my edges with clippers because my hairline grows down really long. Um, and it's not just in my head. <laughs> it, it grows down pretty far. So um, I would usually retwist this and probably shape up my hairline before doing this, but it's going to look a little messy today and that's okay. So from this point, I'm going to have to spin around and show you how I start this from the back. So using my handheld mirror in my mirror is going to help me monitor my progress. So I'm going to start off with three pieces just like you would any other braid and I'll gather pieces as I go along. Okay, at this point, I'm going to stop and turn around because I would generally just be using the mirror in front of me to continue at this point. So once I get to the kind of the peak, I need to switch my hands because holding my hands in this position is not going to continue to work as I get to the top of my head. So you'll see I'm kind of going to switch. And now I'm going to bring everything into this lock, the locks on top. There will be some locks that stick up. I'll try to tuck them in as I go. If not, I'm not going to worry about it and deal with it with hairpins later. Also, I'm going to start adjusting the braid to go to the side. I don't tend to, to like the way it looks when it's right, when it comes right to the front of my forehead. So I'm going to start to aim sideways a little bit. So 
something else I'm doing instead of just bringing the lock straight over into the braid I'm kind of flipping them or, or, or twisting I'm not sure how to describe it but kind of turning them back as I braid in Again, instead of just doing this, I'm kind of flipping them into the braid. And now, again, not this. I'm kind of twisting them, flipping them over. So I really feel like doing this blind is not yielding the best results, but let's see. I'll just try to finish it. I'm already starting to move to the side. As you can see, my hand is off center. So I'm just going to keep braiding down to the end. My locks are a million different lengths at this point, especially from starting from the back of my head. So I might have to switch like sheer locks. Like there's only three locks left in here. So I'll transfer this one over to that group just so it might have a chance of making it down to the end. possible to get this perfect especially when doing one braid all the way from the top to the bottom so here I'll just stop I have a tiny rubber band and I'll just fold this little lock upward to try to get it into this there's a piece of me that wants to redo some of this maybe I can salvage it if not I'll go back no I'm gonna fix it ideally I would have my mirror, I would do be doing this in front of a mirror. The camera screen is definitely not large enough. So it's around here that I'm not feeling comfortable. And I'm going to try to angle to the side. Continuing to pull locks in. And again, not going directly over, but kind of flipping them back.
So continue to breathe over to the side. And looks are gonna continue to pop out. Like I said, we either tuck them in or use a hairpin later on. So again, locks are all different lengths. It doesn't really matter. This last little lock is dangling. I'm gonna fold it up so it fits into the rubber band. Okay, better. So now, some of the locks will come loose as you adjust it. I'm gonna move it onto this side. And kind of roll it around. And then secure it with the hairpin. More than one is probably ideal because it's a lot of hair. So little locks sticking out like this, I would just tuck in there. I could secure it with the hairpin if I wanted to. Again, I, I want to minimize pin usage. So, that is the end product. I'll turn every angle so you can see. So this is one of my favorites. Um, I've gotten so many compliments over it and it's it's tricky. It's like the concept is easy. It's just usually once you get to this part and all of your shorter locks and your longer locks are starting to clash, I'd say, because you're losing some locks, it sticks up. Depending on your lock length, it could start to get crazy for you. Um, and and it does for me. I think I lost locks all the way along. That's why it got thinner and thinner and thinner. Um, but if you're paying attention to it, a lot of times the key is to just get the shorter locks underneath longer locks so that they stay in place and you don't need hairpins at the end. But the hairpins definitely help. So here is my French braid pompadour. I hope you like it. I'll see you next time.